What's good, YouTube? Dom, Steven Sports Cards here, back with another video. Hope you're all doing well. Um, I have a really awesome couple pickups to share with you guys. But before I get into that, I have a quick story. And the story is accompanied by some stuff uh, because going into this past weekend, I was texting with my friend Jim, Picker Jim S. He just texted me saying, hey, do you have any interest in going to the Shriners card show in Wilmington, Massachusetts? He said it's like the biggest card in New England. And I had never been, but what Jim didn't know, because I hadn't been really advertising it, is I was inspired by Scott at Reindeer Studios. In his last video, he talked about No Card November and how it's a really cool exercise of discipline. And I think that I've had such an amazing year in the hobby between the national and getting connected in the community. I've gotten a lot of great stuff that it would probably be a cool thing for me to do. Definitely good for the wallet and something that I think will make me appreciate what a great year that I've had in the hobby so much more. Um, so I told Jim, I was like, yeah, I've never went to a card show and not bought anything, but if you want company on the way up there i'd love to walk the show floor with you and hang out for the day because i didn't have anything going on and i drove up to him because he's in northern connecticut i'm in southern connecticut and we drove up together and he's just a great guy i had a blast hanging out with him as soon as i pulled up to his house he comes out and he's just like here gifts and he didn't have to do that but i really did appreciate the thought he gave me this 2005 tops total boston red sox team set and it's sealed i actually got this as a kid um when the red sox won the world series in 2004 i wasn't really following sports but my grandfather god rest his soul was a huge red sox fan and for christmas he just got me a ton of red sox stuff and he would do it every year until I eventually started collecting cards. And this is actually a set that I had as a kid. I still have some of those cards. There was a dual prospect card of Hanley Ramirez in that set before we traded him to Florida. Um, so that's really cool. I got this 2006 Patriots team set with Tom Brady on the front. I miss those days. Got this beautiful 1981 of Carl Yastrzemski and I thought I had this one Jim but I actually checked and I have a different one with a very similar picture so this is a brand new one to the Yastrzemski PC so that is absolutely awesome and then he gave me this file of photos and whatnot um, it's a 2009 uncut sheet of Upper Deck Baseball I miss when Upper Deck used to make baseball they made some great products Adam Vinatieri, the all-time leading scorer and Patriots hero. Dion Branch, Super Bowl MVP, making a cool catch there. Manny Ramirez hitting his 400th home run commemorative. He actually did get into the 500 home run club. Great hitter, not a smart man, uh, but awesome piece there. Got this 2007 Boston Red Sox, which is actually a team that's super nostalgic to me. It was the first Red Sox team that I was fully following the whole way through to a world championship and love this team, have a lot of stuff commemorating that team. 2004 American League champion Red Sox that came back three to one to beat the Yankees to win that American League championship and then took it home and broke the curse of the Bambino iconic team that will forever be remembered and finally this nice shot of Kurt Schilling um, controversial man but he's also a great pitcher that is one of the eight names that was actually put on the contemporary era committee ballot that was released earlier today. I plan on doing a video showcasing those eight players and who I would vote for and who I think will get in. So we'll look out for that later this week. But an awesome photo there of Kurt Schilling. Jim, those gifts were not necessary. 
I had an amazing time with you, my friend, getting to know you and watching you work at a show. Um, it was awesome. Jim had some great pickups that I'm sure he'll share in a video. In the future, I'll leave a link to his channel. We ran into Frank MTTM. Um, and there was another couple YouTubers there. I got to meet the vintage curator, Keith, um, in person. So that was really cool. And, you know, I just spent a day with a friend. And uh, I pulled a Andy. She blinded me with refractors and went to a card show and didn't buy anything. The show was so cool. It was like a mini national. There was actually a lot of national dealers there. And I saw a lot of great vintage stuff. A couple sets I had never seen before, which is always really cool. Um, so, Jim, thanks for the day. Thanks for the gifts. And I really appreciate you, brother. These final two pickups, I actually squeezed them right in. I made the purchase on Halloween. Um, because I knew that my good friend Brian, B. Roth 6, had bought this collection, uh, including a graded 1954 Red Heart set, which is a set that I absolutely adore. It's 33 cards, 11 with red, 11 with blue, and 11 with green backgrounds. And the two big iconic cards in the set are the Mantle and the Musual. I'm not worried about those. Um, they're a little out of my price range and something I'm not looking to get, but the card that I had always wanted was the one I asked him about, and this beautiful 1954 Red Heart Mini Minoso. This one is centered, has great color, PSA 4, but it's just the example that I wanted in this card. I didn't care if it was a 6 or if it was a 2. This is what I wanted out of the card, and on the back here, it's got his stats and the little red heart ad and this is just a beautiful card amazing example of it he's one of 12 hall of famers in the 33 card set so it's really awesome the drew of vintage legacy actually has a complete set of this displayed go check out his video on that if you haven't seen it but really happy getting the minoso there's a few other ones that I want. Hopefully I'll have a red background and a green background Hall of Famer in the future, but Minnie was the number one guy on my list, and I asked him about it, and we worked out a deal before November hit. But when I asked him about the Mini Minoso, because that's the card I wanted, he said, yeah, he has two of them, actually. And I said, two? He doesn't need two for the set. And he sent me a picture of it, and when I saw it, I knew that even though I don't normally do this, I'm usually good with having one copy of a card in my collection. Uh, I just had to have it, and you'll see why. It has a beautiful blue signature on it. Um, the autograph's graded a nine, but I don't really care. I love that it has the full service saying that it is a 54 Red Heart authentic card, and this is just so special. I don't have a lot of vintage cards that are signed. Mostly just because of how crazy they can get. But when I saw this one, I knew I had to have it. Um, Mini Minoso is a great player and someone that when he was outside of the Hall of Fame, I used to collect a lot and I have a lot of his early stuff, but didn't have the red heart and I missed out on the auto because when he passed away, his autograph prices shot up. He wasn't in a lot of pack pulled sets and while he was a good signer around Chicago, you know, he wasn't all over the country at shows signing. So his autographs are reasonably affordable, but they can get expensive. And I didn't have one. Then he got into the Hall of Fame and they spiked up again. But when I saw this, I knew that I had to work out a deal. And I now have a Mini Minoso autograph in my collection. And this one's super special because the blue autograph pops with the blue background. It's on a set that I love and... What's really cool is uh, I looked it up. There's only been four encapsulated by PSA. So only four autographed 54 Red Heart Minosas out there as of right now um, from PSA. And, you know, it's, it's a card because it's not the most popular set. Probably doesn't have a lot more than that out there. I'd say it's probably one of 10 or 20 in the world, which is really cool. So Brian, I appreciate the deal. I've been staring at these beauties every opportunity that I've gotten. I haven't even put them away yet. They've been by my bedside. Um, 
thank you to Brian again. Thank you to Jim again. I will see you guys later this week with an Eric Committee video, and I hope you all enjoy. Peace.